Okay, let's have a look at this in an actual question. So, uh, it says work out the um, calculate sorry the missing angles, including your reasoning. So let's start off with a, a and sorry a is on a straight line over here with an exterior angle of 112 degrees. So we should be able to easily work that out to be 68 degrees. Now don't forget, now you've got opposite angles inside cyclic quadrilateral and they have to equal 180 degrees. So B would be 112 and C would be 87. And if you check all of these, when you add the opposite ones up, they should equal 180. And if you add all four up, they should equal, all four interior angles, sorry, they should equal 360 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Um, so we are going to the second rule that was the angles in the center, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So it says work out the angles P and Q. First we're going to go for P, so here is the angle, 102 degrees, and that should be double the angle at the circumference. So that should be, should be so P should be half of that, which is 51. Okay, then we're going to work out angle Q. Now if you think about this, we have now got a quadrilateral, as you can see there. And Q is the opposite angle to 51. So Q and 51 should equal, when added together, sorry, should equal 180 degrees. And that answer is going to be 129 because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral should add up to 180 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at this question. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and O the center of the circle. O is right there. Um, center of the circle. Line AC is the diameter, so A to C is the diameter. Work out the missing angles X and Y. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to work out angle X. I'm just going to give you a bit of a clue. Whenever you have these small arrows drawn here, that indicates that the two lines are parallel. Whenever you have these drawn, there's usually going to be an alternate angle in there. Okay, otherwise they wouldn't draw the two arrows in. So if you look at this, it's actually forming an alternate angle or Z angle if you prefer to call it, which means that 43 and X are alternate angles. So, for, so X is going to be 43 degrees. Now, angle Y, if you can see this, um, O, so from the center to C is a radius, and from the center to D is also a radius. So that forms an isosceles triangle, where one angle here is 43 degrees, which means the other angle should also be 43 degrees. Now, if this angle here is 43 also, um, we can see going back to the first rule that we learned that this angle, which is angle X plus the 43, is going to be 90 degrees because it is the angle in a semicircle. So what we get, 90 uh, minus 43, which is going to give us an angle of 47 degrees.